you would like to know what these cool things are, then stick around. Today, um, I went to a thrift store close to me with my husband. The weather is pretty shitty still, so um, we miss f flea marketing, as we call it. So we decided to go this in to this indoor flea market slash thrift store together. Uh, this is all the things I got. So let's start up with this frame here. In our kitchen, we have a wall that's painted red like a tattoo shop. And we have mixed up arrangement of frames hanging on it with pictures in it um, of stuff that we enjoy. And when I saw this frame, I thought, I have to get it for our frame wall. All the frames on it are flea market frames. So they're all mixed up and cool looking like this one. I don't know how to remove the image yet. Maybe I can remove it from here. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to put in there yet, but I figure it out. And the next thing I got is the soap. On one hand, I really enjoyed the look of the packaging, which is has these gold effects on it. it. Was just one euro, as you can see on the package. The frame was three fifty, so as you can see, the price is super affordable on this on the things that they're there. The soap. Um, let's see what it looks like on the inside. I saw some soaps in the store that were unpacked and they looked rough. <laughs> the smell is really good. And currently I'm on a hard soap, like hand soap episode. I just love solid soaps at the moment. It smells really good. It has a few crumbs in the package, but it's intact. So that's, it's good. One euro. Why not? And the next thing I found was this little book with a clasp on it. Uh, if you find something like this as a junk journalist, you cannot resist, right? <laughs> the clasp opens and closes still fine. Uh, I just flicked through it roughly in the store because I like the surprise when I get home. The text in it seems to be like diary sort of situation. It's in German, obviously, since I live in Germany. And I saw the 1953 and I was like, yeah, this is, I have to have it. <laughs> um, it has like tickets in it, a couple of text that I will read in privacy of a person who seemed to like dancing. Then it had this little vintage postcard in it. As a junk journalist, you love that kind of stuff. Old photos. And if you get text and context with those photos, you have to have it. <laughs> Seems like person was on vacation here. Photos with names around it. I'm excited to find out who these people are and read the text um, on, my, on my own, like off camera. I'm just gonna try and see if I can figure the text out. It's written very cursively, but it's quite readable. And uh, here are some tickets and I will scan them and make fake tickets out of these, like replicas of these tickets. Like look at how colorful they are. I love stuff like that. You don't find that so often in uh, in books around here. Like it's pretty rare that people collect mem memorabilia and ephemera like that, and it's just so cool. These are all dancing cards, dancing tickets. Tanz means dance in German. Got to flick through the pages carefully. 
This is a Happy New Year greeting card. This is a little booklet where someone... Uh, these are different dancing styles and it seems like the person took a course on each of them and the teacher had to sign it once the course was done. So to keep track of which dances the person already le learned. And there's even another one. So course tracking cards for, from two people. Little paper someone put in between the pages so the ink doesn't stain. I also love when there's interactive bits that you can fold open. These books are a surprise, just like the photo bundle here. Um, when I buy stuff like that, I never look at it in detail in the store. I just buy it and then I look at it in detail at home because I just love to enjoy the surprise. It's like a little treat. You never know what you get on the next page. You never know what you get in the photo bundle. Seems like several people signed this, maybe. Maybe the other students from the dancing school. This is a motocross race ticket. Just so cool when people, you know, document these little snippets here. Cigarette package. Like in the 50s, it was completely normal. Everybody smoked in Germany. Now it's kind of outdated. Here's a photo of a, a pond. The text says um, that the person will not forget this park in a long time because they, whoever they are, spent a lovely time there. And uh, I just imagine a couple has been sitting on a bench there and kissing or whatever, just holding each other. From the brief bits of text that I have around it, it seems like that was about that. And it, it seems fair to put that in a diary, right? So... I don't know, scribbles of candles, maybe? <laughs> Funny little sketches, maybe they were making fun of certain teachers. In the beginning of the book, it says that the book was for the 13th birthday of someone. So it seems like someone at the age of 13 would write or draw. There's a coin here. I'm not sure of which nationality, like maybe it's from France. I have no idea. Maybe it's just like a little coin that you would put in a specific machine. French ticket. As I said, I live close to the French border, so I often get French thrifty things, which is really cool. There's a thing that's all folded up on itself. Kind of fragile, probably just a ticket. Also, this looks like a, something from a restaurant. Maybe there was something in it, like the um, the cutlery was maybe in this. Looks like a little man is eating ice cream. It's a little bag of sorts. Here is maybe an autograph. Seems like a famous actor. Festival du Rire, I think it means festival of singing. I'm not sure though. Tissue paper where people wrote stuff on it. Like it's totally shit you would keep as a junk journalist as well. I'm sorry for using that word, but <laughs> stuff, things. More tickets. This seems like a candy wrapper for chocolate a 
This is kind of funny. This is totally a German person writing rock around the clock, but they didn't know how to write rock, so they wrote it with CH. It's pretty funny. But I totally love rock and roll, so um, it's pretty awesome that they would document that. This, I think, is a very cool idea for junk journaling in general. This is a, a description of a like direction to go somewhere, but it's not written, it's just drawn. And I think it's totally a cool idea to do that. Instead of writing text for something is someplace, you just try to sketch it out. Super cool idea for junk journals. And that's it. A couple of empty pages and this little album was just three euros. Really, really cool. Even like the clap still works. It's really cute. And then next up, I found this book. I like it because it has all these gold effects. The image on it suffered a bit from rubbing against other books. But I think this would make a really cool cover for journal. Maybe I can fix the main image on the front or I just glue something on top of it and then I also love these golden page th that golden first page on the inside it's that old German font which is super cool to craft with in general you can make pockets out of it just use the pages as junk journal pages super handy and I can use the back front and spine for yeah to make another journal with it i love it just the gold stuff the gold leaves on the inside and like on the back side are just awesome let's get to the pictures later next up we're looking at this paper bundle that i found i just saw a stack of old papers and i just bought it like i didn't look at it twice i just wanted to you know, disassemble it at home and I I just need one glance to know that I can make something out of this. So just, yeah, that was two euros for this entire bundle of, of papers. If you look on Etsy or anywhere for like a mix up or like pay old ancient papers, antique papers, two bucks, you're not gonna find something for two bucks. So I always recommend going to a local thrift store to hunt for vintage papers. These are just beautifully aged papers where you could file stuff under certain letters. You could use these papers for its intended purpose, you know, to organize stuff under certain names or whatever, or you just use them as, since they are letter size, as pages in junk journal. You don't have to coffee dye, because they're already aged. Uh, to compare it here, this is something white against these papers, and you can see how aged they are. I prefer actual vintage papers over coffee dyeing because it's more genuine. Just coffee dyed is nice too, but it makes the paper a little wrinkly. There's something beautiful to that too, but real vintage is awesome. These are all, now that I'm looking through them, these are all these, um, I don't know the specific name for those, papers with labels with letter labels on the side all sets um i love the the rusted paper clip imprints if you like the grunge you love that stuff it's just several packs with these rusty paper clip imprints on them 
in different aging uh, pro like different ages they all have like a beige tint to them but in different stages perfect for collages mix them up there you go you know fill a junction with them and this is just a ginormous bunch of papers for two euros you can make like three journals out of them or more Like this is sort of like almost salmon color and it doesn't really show in the video, but it has like a pinkish yellowish hue in reality. So that's all of that. Super cheap, super cool, super versatile, and you can stamp on it, write on it, collage on it, collage with it. Super handy. And now we, let's talk about, oh, yeah, this is the paper clip from one of the stacks. A little rusty, so of course I keep that. Now I found this spacer thing, acrylic little shelf organizer thing. Obviously, I cannot peel that off right now without having remains. <laughs> but when I saw that, I thought this would be a great idea to use in a little box. For example, here with my clear stamps to organize them better and to space them out a little bit. So taking those out and putting that in. Just in general, you could use this spacer to organize tags, anything that you keep standing up. So when you go to a thrift store and you find stuff like that, like whatever you see, think what can you do with that? Maybe there's a way to use it in your craft organization. Maybe you can make imprints with it on a jelly plate. Maybe you can, you know, use it directly in your journal. My head always spins around junk journaling. So whatever I see, I can find a use for it somehow. So you can, I could organize now my stamps, you know, like after topic, letter stamps, floral stamps, organize them in each little department of the spacer. I'm just like roughly uh, organizing them right now because I don't want to spend a while on it. This is going to take me 20 minutes off camera because I'm super particular about organizing my stuff. But uh, it's like, you know, two bucks for this acrylic spacer and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Like, there's so many things that can just be improvement to your active crafting process when you sit on a desk and just speeds up the process as you go and makes it easier for you and more fun of course see this already looks nice like i can just look right into everything i can see where stuff is just at first glance pretty nice yeah i like that put this one where it goes and my acrylic stamping block. I just have this little one. It's big enough for me. It's not that heavy. So this works fine for me organizing my stamps that way. Okay, now let's look at this delicious little bundle of photos. I'll zoom in a little bit to show you the photos a bit better. Let's interrupt those. You can see a little squished and bendy, but there were only three bucks. I've seen bundles like this on eBay for 30 bucks. Doesn't have to be expensive when you hunt for items like that, you know? If you're lucky at a thrift store, you can find books about flowers, photos, postcards, anything people don't need anymore. Bit of a struggle opening this, but there we go. 
I have no idea what's you know up now like I could not look through them in the store but it doesn't matter as I said I love the surprise so let's see what we have at first this was the thing I clearly saw when I picked up the package I saw this cute little postcard with a baby on it and French writing I just find the French writing really cute so let's go through these a bit I'm not gonna go into all of them in detail I'm just gonna show you a few look at this little nurse <laughs> imagine that on a card it says get well soon or stuff like that it's just adorable you just have to be creative and come up with stuff I love photos that have old cars on them children are always cute These are unfortunately really bendy. I'm sure they kept them in a tin or something like that. So if I would like separate pictures of that stack that I would want to use, I'd have to, I don't know, bend them back a lot or iron them. I love photos of women. Children are cute, but my like women are my favorite. Um, my favorite uh, thing on vintage photos i love this i love the pinstriping on the on the little um baby wagon trolley nice design yeah like some children pictures are really adorable <laughs> sweet Just flicking through those for you guys. So many children photos. I mean, I get it, you know, like you would want to preserve those memories back in the day. I don't think that I'm going to keep all of these photos. I think I'm going to resell them again. Because I already have a lot of black and white photos and I have to part with some, but you know, something like that I'm gonna keep. Like, this is so cool. Beautiful wedding photo. And then we have some cabinet cards, which are much rarer to find than vintage photos. You can tell it's a cabinet card because it's thick cardboard. And they're like much older than the other black and white photos, like from 1910, 1920s, or maybe even older. My husband <laughs> thinks it's a bit strange that I'm chasing after other people's memories, but this just how people treasure the tickets, every little thing they come across in their lives really moves me and then if I can keep that memory going I'm glad to do so unfortunately no date on these no year or anything I love the dresses it's very I mean it's very gothic but so cool Just for these three cards, it was worth to pay the two bucks or three bucks that was like this photo set. This is kind of funny. Yeah. In 1950, every now and then you get a date, so that's cool. Nice picture of a woman, you know. As I said, like, women is just really cool on photos. You get men more often, it's just a fact. But women are always so beautiful on these vintage photos. 
cool couple picture. This is more modern. It's from 66, has a date on it. I have a couple of these square ones with this cool vintage border. You know, you could just, if you don't like the photo, just cut out the photo and just use the border, for example, you know? Just gotta be creative. I like the little car on the right side. Pictures of nature, landscapes. It's just interesting to me that somebody took that photo and thought, I want to preserve this and keep it. It's a really cool image. I love that car. It's interesting that it's a woman and, a, and her daughter, maybe. Little girl. There's a little nurse again with the dog. I love pictures that have pets on them too. It's so cute. Big wedding image. It's adorable. Very sweet. Couple pictures. If I find something like this in a thrift store, I can't say no. Like, this is a must. This is like unfoldable. All about one wedding day. There's unfortunately no information on the photos about who it is or from when these photos are. Could be the mom with her daughter on the other picture with the car. Could be the same people. Yeah, and this is how picture end up on my desk, you know. Someone dies who treasured these images for years. These pictures land at the thrift store and then they land in my stash. Which is cool and interesting. This is also really cute. Little bear, girl with a bear. And this is my little thrift store haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I think uh, I'm going to do, certainly do another haul eventually and show you guys the cool things I find for my journaling. On flea markets, whenever I go hunt for stuff, there will be more things in the future to show you guys. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye-bye.